Hello everybody, I'm Games522 and welcome back to more Mega Man X Command Missions. So in the last video we took down Dr. Psyche and one thing I want to talk about is that I actually made a really big mistake. Turns out in order to get really high XP for a boss, it depends on what you finish him with and how fast you finish him. Uh oh, looks like we got some treasure tokens. Oh boy, it's making the room lag. <laughs> the treasure token is making the room lag. That's weird. I've never seen the room lag like this coming in here. I think it's because there's like more, there's a lot more entities. There's another treasure token over here. No? Oh, it's behind me. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at my Game Boy Advance little treasure token radar thing. Now, um, this video, I don't know how, what, uh, this video might be focusing on today. All I know is that there's something that I haven't talked about yet, and that is the Deployment Center. Basically, um, all the areas we've been to, we can send repli- we can send, like, mechanoloids we found to investigate. So, we're pretty much gonna be starting this off. <clears throat> now... One thing I want to try and do is I want to try and get every single Mechanoloid in this to Hall of Fame status. So, I'm pretty much just going to send like one Mechanoloid at a time here. So, yeah. Basically, the, you send mechanoloids to find items. And these items are going to be pretty important. Which 100% means that we do find absolutely everything in all these places. <clears throat> Alright, so now while that's going on... We want to go ahead and try and look for all the treasure tokens that we've missed in the areas so far. So this episode might focus solely on that. So, might as well go ahead and start from the beginning. Just go ahead and work our way down. Or actually, let's head to the roof. Because... <clears throat> in case there is something up at the roof, it might be missable. High altitude heliport. Looks nice up here. One hell of a view. Okay. Okay, my treasure my treasure radar isn't picking up anything. All right. Yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded anything about this in forever because I picked up Monster Hunter World and I couldn't stop. So yeah, that's something that happened. My radar is not picking up anything yet, so there's nothing on this floor. Oh, you got something? Okay, I think it's right below me. Alright. Or right around beneath me. Here we go. Now, there doesn't seem to be anything else. But let's go ahead and head over here. Yeah, I'm getting something. It's right up ahead. Here we go. Now, the treasure token radar searches by area. Okay, there's nothing in here. Which, if I look at my map, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. So now we just want to head back to the center, like, rampway. I mean, I, couldn't, I can't say stairway because they're not stairs. Now, the Deployment Center uh, Mechanoloids we, you send out, they're gone for, as, uh, they're gone for, like, a certain amount of time. And also, like, whenever you look at the stats when you send something, it's always, like, you always have to take into consideration, like, distance as well as, like, move stats for the Mechanoloid. And 
like for example if there's a higher distance you would want like a higher move stat that way it won't take as long but we're gonna get everything so don't worry I'm hopefully gonna get every mechanoloid the Hall of Fame because I've done it before it was pretty tricky but I've done it before and I know I could probably do it okay there's apparently one right here here we go Okay, my radar is faintly picking up something, so there is something in this place, even though it's a dead end. Are there enemies in this place? There we go. Okay, my radar is not picking up anything else. Okay, so now we've covered everything on this end. So now we just need to head to the airbus and, like, go through that way. And plus, we need to pick up some new weapons, since that Marino is on our team now. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna try playing this game for the best of my ability from this point. I'm not gonna try and like butcher it. I know I might miss some explanations, but but I mean like I just want to get like the most optimal way because if you play this game right, you don't have to grind at all because I've beaten I've done a hundred percent of this game without ever grinding once. The only drawback is you can't run away from every battle, because if you fight every single battle, that knocks, like, one of the, uh, one of, like, the notices for the Sky Room out, but also, okay, not that way, but also, like, the XP you get, I mean, I've stated this already, but the XP you get ends up, ta ends up being good in the long run. Because I remember I would grind just for fun in this game. What's this take? Where's this take? Oh, this just takes me back here. Alright. Now, I would grind in this game for fun. Usually. But, but like, I made it to, like, level 60 with everybody. And I felt strong. But for some reason, when I played through this game 100%ing it the first time, I, like... I was like only like level 40, yet I felt just as strong as I was back then. Alright, so we got some figure tokens to use. We're gonna go ahead and spend them all. Let's go ahead and start completing uh, Shadow's Betrayal, this series set. Two more. X. Alright. Shadow's Betrayal series complete. Shadow's Betrayal series sold out. We got Django, Rowdy Reploid. I like how that's his name. It's like so generic. All right, so let's take a look at the weapons shop. So I'm gonna keep Joker on spiders because it's cool. Beam Chakram. Hmm. Three hits. Okay, I'm probably gonna buy this. Now, Cinnamon is a really, really really good character in this game like she's really 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 fucking strong but I'm not going to be using her just because like I know how broken she can get and plus what's the fun in that okay so now I got a new weapon for okay I need to go ahead and like change my things around I'm actually gonna take item capture off of spider I'm probably gonna go ahead and put hmm Probably gonna put ice missile, maybe? Question mark. Now I do want to go ahead and equip X with Ice Buster. And then I'm basically gonna have Let's see. I'll deal with flying enemies. Or no, I got it. I'm gonna take Get Zenny off. I'm gonna give Ivan capture tomorrow. No, and I'm going to I'm going to have Get Zenny with Spider. There we go. We're good. I'm not really... Hmm. 25% hit ratio. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of what to do. Oh yeah, we have this new thing here called the Force Metal Generator. We get this once we complete Chapter 4. Basically, we complete, we can uh, 
we can make force metals. Like, just on the fly, anywhere we go. Now, one thing I want to tell you guys, 100% means that we complete this entire list. So, we're going to do that. At some point. As you can see, there's a bunch of conditions that are, like, that are really specific for this. Now, one thing I do want to tell you, um, this one right here, in order to unlock this one, in order for crafting, you have to get a 16 combo with zero during his action trigger, which, since I did that with the first fight against Hippo Wrestler, I don't have to do that. So if you do it at that point, it'll save you a lot of time. And the required level is also telling you what level cinnamon has to even be in order to use it. In order even to create it. Now, this is a really, really important item right here. A really important force metal. But we don't, we wouldn't so much as need to craft it as we would to obtain it. But, like I said several times, I'll get into that later. Now, okay, I think we're good right now. Alright, let's keep moving. Any new force metals that I'd like to buy? Fire guard. Fire guard might be important, but I've never needed to buy it, so I'm not going to. I don't know. It might come in handy, but I just don't want to waste my zenny. Alright. Alright, so let's go this way first. My radar is not picking up anything yet. Alright. Speaking of treasure tokens, might as well go ahead and start spending them. Central Tower. Let's go ahead and start knocking these out. Juvenile Reploid. How, do, how are there kid Reploids? I don't understand that. Okay, two more. Weapon Store Clerk. Intelligence Reploid, Central Tower sold out. Resistance. And Guard Reploid, alright. Okay then. Now that that's taken care of. Anything on the radar? No, not yet. Okay. You know what's funny? The power on my Game Boy Advance looks like it's in, like, the deep red, despite the fact these are brand new batteries I put in this son of a bitch. Okay, that's the password thing, we already did that. I'm getting something. Here it is. Anything else? Oh yeah, there is something I do want to go ahead and show off before we do anything else. There still is a thing I need to get down here. Here we go. Now we can't go in here, which no big deal. But what happens if we keep going further down here? There's a locked door. Door locked control- okay. Cannot unlock without the central key. Now, I want you guys to remember that. Because that might be important later. Okay. So let's just go ahead and head out of here. I think I picked up every treasure token here in Central Tower. If I didn't, then I guarantee the ones I'm missing are probably down there past that locked door. So then. Now let's just go ahead and head back. Let's go ahead and see if our deployment center guys came back. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of wait time and slash downtime that might happen. Like during uh, a majority of this playthrough. But then again, I'd more than likely just cut that out just so you guys don't have to put up with it. Okay. I mean, if there's anything that I'm missing, I can just go back to my 100% file and see what it is. Okay, you just skip the Airbus. 
Because we did walk uh, quite a ways. I doubt any of them would have come back by now. But let's see. No, we're not going to the mission yet. Nope, they're still deployed. Alright. Now... Okay. Since that's the case, let's just go ahead and head back to the Tiana camp. Or... Lagana... Well, actually, I don't want to go back to those places yet, either. Um... One thing we could do... Is we could go f do the Lost Woods a bit more, but... On second thought, nah. Let's not bother with that yet. I want to wait until I have, like, my full team before I try messing around with the Lost Woods. Or the Eternal Forest, excuse me. Alright, so... I guess we'll just go ahead and get started with the mission then. I feel like I'm as ready as I can be. Chapter 5 Maverick Hunters Join Forces. Alright, so welcome to the Old Fat Factory. This is the next area of the game. And alarm. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Intruder breach facility interior. Strengthening security for all areas. Uh-oh, have we been spotted? No, it can't be. The timing's just too perfect. There must be someone else in here causing the ruckus. Are there others who are fighting the rebellion army? At any rate, this spells trouble for us. The security is going to be tight. It could be a trap, but X's friend could also be waiting for us. There's no turning back. Let's go. Alright, now we're introduced to the gimmick for this area. What's that noise? Stop, everyone! Stay completely still! Oh, I get it. When the room turns red, the mechanoloid starts moving. That's it, huh? That's all there is to it. Everyone, let's go. Whew! Glad I didn't move. Two... Three. Basically, if you move while the room is red, you get into an encounter. Okay, now... My radar is picking up something. Okay, it's gonna go ahead and grab this. Okay, it's a fire guard. Might need that for later. Okay, let's go ahead and go this way. Now... You can get into random encounters outside of those rooms. So keep that in mind. Alright, so now, let's see, we got some, we got a Prion Soldier, and we also got a Prion Nurse. Now, he can drop, now this guy can drop build Ellie's and, and, and the injector weapon for Cinnamon. But, one thing you do want to do when you're fighting uh, something with a Prion Nurse is that you want to take out everybody else first. Because if you do that, then the Nurse will actually give you a free heal. And then run away. And then when it runs away saying thanks, I think that gives you the highest chance of uh, item drops, I believe, from it. Alright. There we go. Got to final strike this son of a bitch. And now when we do final strikes against enemies now... It also says that we get bonus force metal energy from that enemy. So now it'll give us a full heal, even though we didn't really need it. And then we basically just want to let our turns go by. There we go. And that, that doesn't count as an enemy runaway. So that's something to also keep in mind. Alright, here we go. Treasure token. Now this is taking the long way around. Now, here in the old fat factory, there's special enemies you can run into. Oh. It's a rush loader. More mechanoids for the deployment center. Two... 
three. Stop. All right. Two, three, stop. Yeah, I'm just trying to like pay attention to this. Two, three, stop. All right, boom. Ooh, Ultra Blizzard. That's probably gonna come in handy later. Because if it wasn't already obvious, the element for this area is fire. Get fucked. Alright. Miss. Haha. -ha. So I so ice element things are definitely gonna be key here throughout this place. No items to steal. God damn, he's just tanking it. See, I feel, I f it feels like I do feel weaker than I normally do. Damn. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and kill this guy off. Now, we're just going to go ahead and let this Prion nurse get out of here. I want that free heal, just so Marno's just a little bit in better shape. It's also easy to steal from it, I notice. All right, then. XP builds up over time. That's the rule. That's how it works. All right, my radar's picking up something else again. Seems to be in this room. Okay, it's right behind... It's, in, it's behind that door over there behind those boxes. So... We're going to have to make our way over there. Also, also have to let this guy move out of the way so I can come around the corner over here because there's an item. All right. God damn it! I timed my I, t I was timing it wrong. Oh well. What can you do? All right, now these are a new type of guy. These are the Prion counters, I believe is what they're called. Basically, Prion Shielder. Yeah, these guys, they're basically never attack them with a shot attack. That's always bad. Never do that. So instead, you want to hit them with a physical attack. If you do, it knocks them out of their barrier. And they can't use it to hurt the piss out of you. Because that, that shield, when they fire it off, when it's their turn, hurts like a bitch. And they also take bonus damage from physical attacks. So, there's that. Might as well try this. See what'll happen. Straight! Alright, I'll take that. Ah, and they missed. Some of them did. Bet I could kill this guy off. Okay. And booyah. Gotcha. Ah, almost. There we go. This guy's gonna get hit really hard. Bam. Get wrecked. Okay. 
Okay, just gonna go ahead and calm down here. Alright. Now I can just finish this guy off with this. I'm pretty sure X will level up before the boss, that's why I'm not too worried about using some hyper hyper mode turns here. Also, XP wasn't too bad. Ding. Alright. Now there actually is another item hidden right over here. Tank parts. Now, when I was like trying to find all the sub tanks going through this game the first time, that was that tank part right there that I just picked up was the one that I was missing. So that's something. Enemy Blitzkrieg. Great. I don't know if that I don't know if you I don't know if we've seen that yet, but Emmy Blitzkrieg just means that the enemy moves first. Is all it does, is that's all it means. Alright. Let my stuff build up. Bam. Okay. Start smacking me around. Fumble. Do I want to try going? Yeah, give me a nine. Give me a nine. Okay, pair. That? That's close enough. I probably don't need to do Hawkeye. I think it's just react. It's just like, re it's just like instinct that I press X. I press Y and X, and then normal attack. And at least I got a nice heal. Reboots are nice. It's nice that I could steal reboots. Because reboots are basically like revival items, like Phoenix Downs. I did it. So that's a plus. Injector! Yay! Okay. Boom. Boom. Now I think I just trapped myself. Yeah, I did. Now I gotta wait. Now, there's a sub tank thing there. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to get into a fight. And, okay. Because I need to come this way anyway. Which I'm definitely going to get into a fight. Oh boy. We got a whole slew of guys here. Bam. Luckily, they were weaker guys, so that's a plus. Alright. Get ready to get fucked! Oh boy. Why is it like whenever I don't have anything to say, I always just say, oh boy, oh man, alrighty. I always have to say something like that along those lines in order for it to just be like, oh, you gotta say something here or else it'll just be like, people gonna get like, ugh, you get sick of you. Now this was still kind of, this was kind of a bad fight to like, to like just try and get damaged on just because like I normally always let the Prion nurse go. Mega Thunder. That's cool. Okay, I like how the treasure token makes the game lag. I've never seen that before. Okay, we're almost out. There we go. And there's also a Mechanoloid over there. Busted down one. Okay, so now we got some, uh... Some bit of a mix-up here. There we go. Bet that hurt. Damn, that guy hurts. Okay. Get fucked. 
Ah, damn it. Okay, you guys are about to see how strong this counter thing is. Hey, that hurt, Buster. Yeah. It hurt that much. Okay. Get that. Uh, let's try 100%. Can we get the Royal Straight Flush? Straight. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. Better than nothing. Okay, I'm not giving you satisfaction. Yeah, Smash just has random damage. Uh, has like a random damage range, which is weird. There we go. Now it's on you. There we go. And now he's dead. Thank goodness. Yeah, normally I just drop these guys, like, on the first turn. So I guess this just shows how weak I am right now. Normally I would. Now, it's already past the 30-minute mark. So I think I'm probably just going to cut out any, any more encounters that I get. Okay, here's a treasure token right here. But yeah, here's a... See, like, with a ball and chain hammer, this this Einhammer is sure to work. So, in other words, we can't send this guy to the deployment center. I got a Thunder Guard out of that fight. But anyway, as I was saying, that is that Reploid won't go to the deployment center for us to use unless we find the, the uh, item that can reactivate it. We're going to see a bunch of those throughout this. Alright, we got a new enemy here. These are like fishies. They are weak to ice, so... Because there's different, like, enemy encounters in these lava places. Fire guard. Okay, that's in the air. I'm an idiot. Don't worry, I'll get another chance. Damn, double crit. Alright then. Time to get fucked, as they say. Next. Alrighty, Mega Fire. All right. Only one of many. All right, now someone did get hurt, so I'm going to use a life gain max. There we go. Bing, bing. All right. Now, I do kind of want to do, like, a full circle around this room because there's items, like, everywhere. Ooh, all right. Now, I believe I did pick up that item that was right over here. I believe I did. I can't tell. I don't see a dot on my map, so I'm assuming I did. All right, then. We should be hitting up a save point soon. And then once we do, we can end this episode off. But it, until then, I'm just going to be cutting out the encounters. Okay, it looks like my radar is picking up something. Okay, there is an item behind these crates over here. Alright, X is about to level up anyway. Build speed. I'm saving up my build items. That way, once I have the, team, the party members I am going to use, I'll start using them. Speaking of party members... Hey, X. Don't worry. Hey. It's only me. Axel. Ah. An old comrade, is it? Yeah. But Axel, what are you doing here? I came to Giga City because I heard my shape-changing ability might have been invented here. I've been searching around for clues, but nothing yet. Yeah, 
I heard they used to do a lot of research in this place, back before the rise of the Rebellion Army. So, they may have been working on Axel's shape-changing ability, too. It's a very specialized area. But I heard of a few other Reploids with the same ability as me. I see. But with the Rebellion Army around, it's hard to investigate. Yeah, like I said, not many clues around. Hey, Axel, have you seen Zero around here? Zero? You mean THE Zero? Yeah, we heard Zero was here and we came to find him. Uh, I haven't come across him yet. I hope he's okay. I'm sure he is, don't worry. Zero wouldn't go down without a fight. Come on, I'll help you look. All right, we now have Axel. Now Axel doesn't have anything with regards to Force Metal. I'm going to take everything off for, for Spider and I'm gonna bring Axel in because Axel is literally one of the best characters in this game. Okay, so let's see here. Hit ratio, we don't need to worry about that. Let's see. I need to organize. There we go. That's better. Okay, eagle eye. I wonder, do I have any more decoys? No, I don't. I'm actually going to... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put Fire Guard on him. Alright. And let's change up Axel's weapons. He has a Hunter Missile and a Cracker. Now, I want to put... Oh yeah, I gotta take this stuff off of Spider. There we go. <clears throat> now I want to put on... Ice Missile and... Get Zenny. Alright, so we have Axel now. So, yay. Now, there should be a save point coming up right around here. Alright, so X leveled up from that fight. Damn. Looks like I can't pick that up yet, but we're going to hit up the save point and we're going to end this episode off. So, we're going to go to about, like, like, uh, right to here. There we go. Alright. So, with that, that's going to be a be it for this video. I know it looks like we didn't do much, but we got Axel, so I guess that's something. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.